Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Dark Diode here with another episode on Franbo. And let's go inside this house. This must be the ant's house. So let's go inside it. It seems to be open, but very stuck. What happens if we go into Pill Land? Can we get inside it there? No, nope, we cannot. Wow, this is a really big ant hill. Oh. Oh no, Mr. Cat. Mr. Cat, oh no. Mmm, rip, rip. Look, Fran, I'm in danger. So can we stop it before he lands in the river? Find me alive! Find me dead! Bip bip! Yeah, okay, so all of this seems to be about the same. We need to find some kind of way to get inside that house. A tiny, tiny ant house. Hello, I'm Fran. Got to try and find other different way in, or something to try and lubricate that. Can we open the window? Hello, is somebody home? Looks like a lamp is lit. Okay. Can we just tear the door down? Oh no, I broke the door. Well, it's alright. I guess I can get in now. Well, this is a very cozy house, isn't it? A lot of meat. Oh, I shouldn't take other stuff, but I want super glue for the attachment. That's alright. The queen of meat. Interesting. Even if I wanted to take the meat, I can't reach it. Um, what is this? Underpants. This is odd. I thought I had never cooked their meals. Where are these berries you speak of? Oh, there are the berries. Hey, hey, can I, can I have the berries? What? The blueberries. Ow, that hurts. Okay. Well, you are very rare. Baby pinecone. Haha. <laughs> so sweet. Okay, so we've got these little creatures. So you look very angry. We've got these creatures, and we need to try and figure out some way of getting them out. But how do we do this? Oh, jeez, sir, you don't look very good right there. It, it seems like something's bugging you right now. You tiny creatures, please don't eat me. Oh my goodness. A pest exterminator, and he's dead. Can I pick up anything here, or is it just this guy? What about this bowl? There is water in the sink. What's this? I thought I could click it. Mmm, tea time, sir. Okay, maybe we need to ask the guy about... Maybe, oh, maybe we can grab the meat? Okay, we've got some meat. Maybe we give it to the pines? I've already got one piece of meat. I won't touch that again. It's too damn gross. Okay, let's see if we can give them some meat. Even if it works, I wouldn't know for what purpose. Can we give it to her? Uh, can we give it to the baby? Can we combine the glue with the meat? No, no, no. Doesn't seem like it. Combine that with the glue? Nope. Hmm. We must have gotten the meat for some reason. Someone forgot to clean the brush. It's firmly attached to the door. Can we chop it off? Can we chop this? I can't do that. Can we kill this guy? Okay, I'm very confused at this point. What about the bed? I wish I could sleep with my kitty on this bed. Yeah, let's talk to Mr. Big Ant Fellow. May oh, hey. What are you doing all around spe uh, snooping on people? Do you have the special berries now? They won't allow me to take them. They will never allow anything. If you trap one of them, maybe it'll be easier. How would I trap a singular one of them? Okay, I'll take a look around and pill land again. Can I go down here? Nope. What a bluff. There is no hole in here. Seems like this is all pretty much the same. I still need to find that rat thing to get that special key. I'm not even sure what that key is for. Where to use it because I haven't come across a locked door. Wait, what's this? Oh, a door handle to handle big problems. I'll keep it. What are we going to use a door handle for though? Can I use like the meat here? Oh shit, I can. Hey, what's this? Works, now the bag's mine. Okay, so what's... 
A mouse trap and an exterminator. Okay. Can I use the trap on these things? Can I like knock this guy over? Nope. Oh wait. So I put it right in front of this guy. Now maybe if I reach for it. Oh, cool. Oh, now the mama's hitting me. Bad mama. What if I do that? Yes, yes. I got them. They smell delicious. Okay. So, I guess time to go and kill the piggy insect. I forgot his name. Because I spent so long trying to solve that one puzzle. Alright, Mr. Piggy. Do you want this? Good piggy. Now you just sit there and I'm gonna kill you. And ka-chop! Ka-chop! Oh, hey. It's a Mr. Ma it's a Mr. Rat. What? You're not my cat. Oh, miss. You saved me from misery. But where is Mr. Midnight? I assume that you are feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? My cat. My lovely cat, Mr. Midnight. Oh, Miss Lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? You seem to get in trouble often. Wait, maybe he is my cat. Oh, my lady, if he is, then he's the one in trouble now. Why? What happened? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. Is this the same rat that stole the comb? Because if... You're the rat that stole the comb, then I need to take that comb back so that I can get the key. For some reason, I'm not quite sure why. Here we are. Someone, somebody took him, miss. They just disappeared. Oh my goodness. Could you be a little more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there is anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Yeah, give me a comb. Excuse me, did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb? The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Can I have it, please? Alright then, but can you please comb my hair first? Uh, sure. Yes, I can comb your hair. <laughs> oh my god, it's such a disturbing picture. The, the rat looks like he's getting such an orgasmic experience from the, from the action of being combed. Thank you, my lady. You are very kind. Alright, sick. Let's go get that key. And I think it's right here, isn't it? Hey ladies, do you want this comb or not? Oh, uh, maybe, maybe I have to click a little bit higher. There we go. Here is your beautiful comb, misters. I mean, she says they're misters, but in my head, canon, they're all chicks. Oh, you, friend the person. You finally did it. Hope the key opens the door you wish to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Well. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, shiny misters. Have a safe trip. Okay, grab the key. I got the key. Now, where exactly do we use that key? The biggest question of them all. Is there anything over here? I wouldn't think so. What do we have? We have we have a key, we have glue, we have a crayon. Maybe we can glue the doorknob to somewhere. Maybe we can combine the glue and the doorknob. Combine the Okay, we can. That makes sense. Question is now where do you actually paste it? Can I paste it on this thing? On the well? Because that'd be kinda cool if I could. Yep, use it. Okay, so that didn't work. Do you have anything to say, Mr. Rat? Do you have any idea how to find my kitty? And it depends, my lady. Have you looked around enough to find him? Of course, but it seems that whatever I do, it goes missing. Oh my dear lady miss, I wish I could help you. But those who took your cat seem to be from another world. Maybe they had like a portal that nobody else can see. Who knows? A portal? What is a portal? A portal, lady miss, it's like a regular door, I think. I see. Thank you, rat. Bye. Oh my god, finally! So it wanted me to click there in all of the other possible places I could have clicked. Okay, fine. I'm gonna combine this, we're gonna combine like combine that with the door. 
Okay, well, please work. I want you to work. Because otherwise I'm completely out of ideas. Alright, let's see if we can use this homemade door on the well. Yes, we can. This is really odd. My own door is locked. Ah. Uh, so let's use our key on it. It worked! Woohoo! Alright, let's go inside. Let's see what's up. Oh. What a curious little door. Where does it lead to, though? Does it lead to Mr. Kitty? I hope it leads to Mr. Kitty. I wonder where it will lead me. Yeah, I'm wondering the same thing. Looks like a couple of stairs, not too many. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Uh-oh, who's that? Behind us! What? Oh dear, your eyes, they- Oh my god. Got hands in your- Like, mouths in your hands. Chapter 2, Part 2. Double Personality. Okay, that's cool. I'm keen for progress. Wait, she's wearing a cat mask. Oh my goodness, where am I? Huh? Where is- uh, what is this? A hat? Surely that's just a fake cat, right? Mr. Midnight, oh no, your head, kitty. Wait just a second, this is not my kitty. What a weird hat. Hey, it's not just like another regular black cat and you know, it's just- it's just made to look like a cat, you know. Knitted and sewed and whatever. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. I cook it to cook. My mummy told me how to use this. Maybe they didn't have enough to paint everything. Or maybe that leads to something else and I need to take note of it. If I were to keep the chimney warm. It's the midnight. Those girls. They took my kitty. I went sit down. I have matches to light up the darkness or just for fun. Wonder what we'll use those matches for. They have lots of pictures of meat for whatever reason. Okay. Lots of cakes, it seems. The cakes looks absolutely yummy. Perhaps if we go upstairs. Okay, interesting. When are we gonna meet these girls though? Oh jeez. What the hell? Amira, but why is my reflection not there? Are you a vampire? Are you sure you haven't checked your own reflection before? Ah, oh, it's that monster and, and so much blood. Ah, oh, these toys are so ugly. White candles everywhere. Oh, tweezers? Can we pick those up? Yes, we can pick those up. Tweezers to pick up things and other stuff I didn't read. Oh, uh, yes. Hello, girl. Thank you for appearing. It's very nice to see you. Oh, a ladder. Perhaps Mr. Midnight is up there. When are we going to see these girls? I want to see these girls. The sisters, they look alike. Oh, it's very spooky. Uh, can we light this up? Use. Use, use matches with Fran. Yeah? So, use it! I, why can't I just use it to light up? I, I see something right there. But I can't actually try and do anything with it because... Can I combine it with itself? I want to use it with the matches! Okay, fine. Can I turn on the light? I want to investigate this. Mr. Midnight? Are you here, kitty? Meow! It's you! Oh my goodness! My beloved friend, I found you! Friend, is that really you? Oh dear, finally! It's me! Come closer, please! Let me see you! Oh, there he is. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I, I missed you so very much. I had dreams about you every single night, and here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh, dear Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh my dear, I will open this cage. We need to get it out, Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, yes I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. 
What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what it was, for what it felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have someone, somebody else taking care of us. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I see what it is. I'll try and find the key to unlock you. All right, I love you. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Hey, sisters. Hey. I mean, I was expecting some kind of a spook, but I was expecting the sisters. Not oh, hi there. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head is just in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? Sorry, but I can't make sense of what you're saying. Fran Bo. That's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? You're scaring me. How can you know all of this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. I wish I was at home with mummy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Yes, but the pain I feel is so great. I can't see solutions. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. I'm not hungry. Just tell me who told you about me. Are you scared, little Fran? A little. It's odd the way I came here and this conversation makes me very confused. You haven't talked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage. Hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him, and that is why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is that you came here. Bitch, you took us here. What do you expect? It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They opened their heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find the way out. And and then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door and that door took me here. But when I entered the door something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They're like berries. Ah, and and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because I have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old, but I have to turn 11 soon. And you? We are 16 years old. Much older than you, so you have to obey us. I just wish you would open the cage so I can go home with my kitty. You haven't even asked our names. That's not very polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. Stop that, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? No, you don't scare me. Free my cat now. You idiot, you asked for it. If you don't do what we ask for, bad things will happen to your cat. We will force you to kill him with your own hands. You are evil and poisoned, but I'll do whatever you say. Good, now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Yes. And he also did magic, but she didn't have any idea how to actually do it. Anyway, the magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Summon the old lost body. Oh, no, I have to read it later. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. 
Why don't you do it yourself? We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. You mean you weren't born like this? One night a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We're going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. And because you have been a very nutty girl, you won't even be able to talk to your cats. You'll have to wait until we come back. Oh, please, let me talk to him. Let, let me at least just give him some food. No, you can't. And that is that. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you? You silly, stupid girl. <laughs> I'm going to assume that that key right there is the key that actually opens up. The, the 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 cat's uh, room. Oh hey, what are you? Can I talk to you? Hello. I, who are you? Can't you hear me? I'm Fran. Oh wait. Could that be one of the sisters? Oh my goodness, the smell. Hmm. Unless the girl, unless the sisters are lying and they perform some kind of ritual to actually. Uh, do it. That could be, that could be a possibility. Oh, a typewriter. And it works. So, what do we actually need to do? Nope, not use, examine every time, I swear to God. Summon the old lost body. Lost in darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes a lie through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you are able to drink the potion, repeat these words. Manambu kasnye o manai erg montade ir ibu esh ibir mon kagsne mabuka ibu fiwern fiwern. Okay, interesting. The stairs and up in a wall. So where did the sisters go then? They went to the left. There's got to be something there. Oh. It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Yeah, who is this guy? Hey, Mr. Frog. Hey, you. Yes, he's speaking. Me, I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes? What is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look girl, I'm a toad and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and a cat magnet. They love us, but not to give love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? Yes, they did. Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that could be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. But what should I do then? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Huh? Creative? Huh, okay. I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. That was an interesting talk with an interesting kind of toad. Anyway, this is where I'm going to end the episode. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to slap the like button and leave a comment down below. If you're enjoying the series so far, make sure to subscribe too to stay up to date with all my latest content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video.